Hey guys, my name's Shane. Today we're checking out this amp I picked up for an absolute bargain on the second-hand market. I picked it up for 100 bucks in Australia. It's the PV Studio Pro 112. This particular amp, for those who don't know, they're kind of like a PV Bandit, only a little bit smaller in physical size. They still have a 12-inch speaker, but the magnet on the speaker isn't quite as large either. So you're not going to get as full a sound as a PV Bandit, but what these amps do, they do extremely well. They're slightly less wattage, they're a whole lot lighter, and like I said, they're smaller, so they may fit a particular need at a gig, for example, where you just don't want to get too loud and carried away with your volume. It's a perfect amp for that. We're going to test out this amp on the clean channel with the bright switch on and off, and then we'll go over to the dirty channel as well. If you're wondering if I'll use the thrash channel, odds are I won't because I wouldn't use that in actual gig situations. So I thought to myself, I'll just set this up the way that I would use it and show you how it sounds. So this is neck pickup on clean with the bright switch currently in, so it's on. Both pickups. That's about as spanky a tone as you could want on a Telecaster. Sounds great. Over to bridge pickup. Yeah. Now the bright switch off, you'll notice a big difference in the high end. Back on. Next we go. A little bit more bass and mids. Over to the lead channel of the amp, now I have both of these buttons out so they're not engaged, I'm just on the first stage of the drive channel. We have the pre-gain set to 12 o'clock, we have the post-gain set to 2. EQ is kind of similar to how I had it set at the start, so let's just do that. We'll turn up the bass and mids a little bit, treble at about 1 o'clock-ish, here we go. <laughs> It sounds gr really cool, really like fat and full sounding. That was both pickups, Nick. Feels like it needs just a bit more high end. Here we go.
Beautiful. And now with the gain button on the amp in, you're gonna hear a huge uh, boost in the noise floor of the amplifier, as well as how much sustain the actual amp has. So here we go. That's the Carlos tone, man. <laughs> I'm actually gonna have to turn that down, it's freaking loud. Whoa, man, oh man. That is awesome. I've turned the pre-gain down just a bit now. Let's see how it responds. I thought it was going to take off even at a low volume. That's cool. And that's why I love these amps. They have just a really musical drive channel, at least those two stages before you get to the thrash channel, actually sounds really great. I opened the head and I noticed it also had the same type of chip you find in a tube scream actually in the head. So I'm assuming maybe that that might be why the drive channel sounds so good. Let's try the thrash channel, let's just do it. In the room, it's giving me that low overtone punch that I can feel in my feet as well as in my chest. Even at a low volume, it sounds pretty fat and full. It's not really my sort of sound though. I prefer either the gain channel on its own or with the actual button pushed in as well. Let's try this one more time. Ooh, man, I dig it. Thanks for watching, my name's Shane. If you have any comments or questions about the video or the amplifier, please let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Let me know your thoughts on the tone of this thing. I kind of dig it. It's a very versatile amp. If you don't have any pedals and you want an amp where you can get just about every type of sound out of it that you could probably want for most styles of music, they're a really good choice and you can pick them up dirt cheap. For me personally, if I'm shopping for an amp now, I'm definitely gonna check the secondhand market for an amp like this that will cover just about everything that I play personally, as opposed to getting like a digital amp or something like that. This is all analog, although it's solid state, it has some really great circuitry in there that makes it feel really good to play as well. I want to give a huge thanks to Mark as well, who I bought this from. He'll probably see this video, so thanks, man. I really appreciate it. It's a great sounding little amp. It's in really great condition as well. And what can I say? PV Studio Pro 112s. They might be the new Bandit. I don't know if there's a new Bandit or not, but they're not quite as loud as the Bandit. In a live mix, these amps won't be quite as loud as the PV Bandits, but that said, you might not want an amp to be as loud as the PV Bandit either, so they're a really great choice. Thanks again. Catch you soon. See ya. Mm -hmm.